Hello everyone, welcome back, here is Van Amsen and today we are diving into a very interesting uh, coding uh, challenge from LeetCode number 215, key largest element in an array. So it's classic problem, very common on coding interview and the challenge, as suggest, find the key largest element in array. So sounds simple, right? But we won't settle for just any solution, we are aiming for efficiency. So to understand uh, given uh, this array uh, 321564 and key 2, we are returning second largest element. So in this case, it's 5 because largest is 6. And yes. So now for those uh, new for this channel, I love exploring uh, different approaches uh, to solve particular problem. And today we are focusing on the min heap approach because this problem could be tackled with different approaches. So the magic of this solution lies in the min heap itself. So with a max size of just K, we make sure that the smallest of the key largest element is always at the top. So let's start by creating our heap with the first uh, key elements. So heap will be num to key and heap q heapify our heap and now uh, what we did we heapify and uh, the fun pun part <laughs> uh, begins so we will iterate uh, through the rest of the array starting from the k and for every element bigger than the top of our heap we will pop the heap and push our uh, new number so for num in nums key, if num greater than hip zero, hip pop, hip, and hip push will be hip num, and return, return hip zero, because at hip zero we store a uh, key largest uh, element. So, uh, Let's dive into what we did. So now onto the crux of our solution. We iterate through the remaining elements in our list, starting from the key element. Uh, and for each of this number, we will compare. So we comparing uh, it with the smallest number in our heap, which is the top of the heap. Uh, so it's uh, num heap zero. So if our current number is larger than the smallest in the heap, it means it belongs to our top key number. So we pop the smallest number out uh, and insert our current uh, number uh, like this. And finally, once the number are uh, processed, the top of our heap will contain the key largest uh, element. So and that's uh, the answer. So now we can run it for uh, this example. So yeah, key largest element, five, everything work. And there you have it, a neat solution using the elegance of uh, minimum heap. So we can uh, run it also for unsynthesis cases. So let's see if it passed, yeah. All good, and our implementation this time beat 95 Point sixty-two percent with respect to runtime, and also fifty-five percent with respect to memory. So, in terms of complexity, uh, this uh, code and implementation run in n log key time complexity, and uh, thanks to our heap operation, each element is processed once, leading to uh, this optimal runtime. And for space complexity, it's just uh, o uh, key uh, because we store heap of uh, key size. So when we compare this approach to other, uh, especially for large input, uh, the min heap method uh, stands out for its efficiency in both time and space. Uh, so uh, yeah, that's uh, all. I hope you found this uh, deep dive uh, insightful. And if you are interested in the solution in other languages like Go, Rust, uh, C++, uh, and more. Uh, check the link in the description below. 
and most importantly, uh, keep practicing happy coding and see you next time.